All right then, so we know that when we send queries to MongoDB to fetch data, we use the find method or the find one method to find whatever documents or document that we want. Now we can also tack on extra methods after the find method to perform additional tasks, like maybe sorting data and limiting the amount of documents that we ultimately get back. And this act of tacking on extra methods is called method chaining because, well, we're essentially chaining those methods together one after another. So let's start by using a method on this and chaining it on and that method is called count. And what that's gonna do is count the amount of documents we would get back from this query. So if I press enter, then you can see it would bring back seven documents. However, let's try using this with a filter. So I'm gonna place an argument inside the find method to say the author must be Brandon Sanderson, like so. So now if I press enter, you can see the count is two because only two books have this author, all right? so. That's the count method, pretty simple, right? So another method I'd like to show you is the limit method. And the limit method lets us limit how many documents we get back. So I could say limit right here, and we wanna limit it to three documents. And if I do this, we're only gonna get three documents. One, two, three. So pretty simple, right? And we can chain those together if we want to. So let me clear this first of all, and I could use the find method, and then I could say dot limit to three, and then if I wanted to, I could say count these. Now we know there's gonna be three coming back, but I'm just showing you that we can chain these different methods together. Now, another method I wanna show you is the sort method, which we can use to sort the results, right? So. All we have to do is say db dot whatever collection we want to find documents from dot find and then dot sort. Now we need to pass through an argument here, which is an object, and it's going to specify what field we want to sort by because we could sort by the title, the author, the rating, etc. So let me say we'll sort by the title, right? And this has to be a one or a minus one. If it's a one, then it means sort in ascending order. If it's minus one, it means sort in descending order. So if I do this now, it's gonna sort the documents we get back alphabetically by the title. So the earliest in the alphabet should come first. And we can see if we scroll to the top, that June is first, the D, then N, and then I think the rest of these are T. Yes, they are. Now, if I do this query again, but change it to a minus one, it's gonna be in the reverse order where the last in the alphabet comes first. Um, we can see that because the top one is T and the last one now is D, awesome. So let me just clear this for now. All right, so what if we want to chain everything we've done so far together? Well, let's try that. I'm going to first of all sort them by the title and it's going to be in ascending order and then i'm going to limit this to three documents and in fact we're not going to tack on count we can do it if you want to but we know what that does so first of all it's going to sort this by title and then limit whatever results we get back so if i press enter we can see the sorted alphabetically by title and it's limited it to three results awesome 